A massive fire and concerns of potentially poisonous elements in the air. Well, now, potential legal action against the owners. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly. After a four-alarm fire ripped through an old Kmart building in northeast Portland, residents living in the aftermath, well, they have filed, filed a potential lawsuit against the owners of that building. The class action complaint filed this week alleges the owner's failure to maintain the property led to the fire and dangerous debris, which continues to impact Park Rose residents. Digging deeper into all of this are Joelle Jones tonight. She has the latest on the complaint and the cleanup efforts, Joelle. Well, Wayne, this complaint, as well as documents obtained by Coin6, show these property owners were given a city violation just this month. And according to this suit, as well as EPA maps, there are likely thousands of residents impacted by the fire fallout. You don't know what's in this debris. Some of the debris tested positive for asbestos, others didn't. Some test positive for glass fibers, others didn't. And so people like my client had to go out and hire a company to come out and actually test what's in their yard and get advice on how to clean it up. Attorney Michael Fuller is working to represent Park Rose residents living in the nearly 2,000 homes impacted by the aftermath of the vacant Kmart building fire and the harmful debris cast more than two miles out. The class action complaint filed on behalf of a homeowner claims the partial property owners RFC and Pelogis failed to safely maintain the property, writing, quote, by allowing the derelict building on the property to accumulate dangerous and flammable materials, as well as allowing unhoused individuals to freely enter the site without appropriate supervision or safety precautions, defendants failed to maintain the property so as not to interfere with the neighbor's property. Yeah, I'm not at liberty to say how uh, we got it yet, but we did just receive a formal notice from the city of Portland that was provided to the property owner back in early July notifying them of violations on their property and notifying them of a nuisance on their property. So it's the smoking gun. Uh, if anybody was not convinced that these owners knew or should have known that their property was a hazard and, and did nothing uh, about it. In addition to that violation notice dated just 13 days before the fire, the complaint outlines two other formal violations sent to the property owners just this year. Coin6 reached out to the building owners named within the lawsuit, and while we did not hear back from RFC, Prologis tells us they have not yet received a copy of the complaint, but stated in part, quote, the fire last week was an unfortunate and unexpected event. It is our understanding that an arson investigation is still underway. We have been working with the public agencies to help respond, including helping clean community parks and schools. In addition to those cleanup efforts at parks and schools, the company says they began sending out crews to do debris removal in the neighborhood beginning Friday, and they will continue those efforts throughout this weekend. For those looking for more information on how to request debris removal, we have linked out the contact details at coin.com. But for now, live in Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News.